We are going to make mixed media number five. And I've taken out my beer coaster again because I am making the mixed media morsels on beer coasters. I've only done four four so far and um, so I have quite a bit of catching up to do but I really like to make them so that's no problem at all. Um, this one is going to be uh, about tissue background technique and it's really easy actually. Um, normally I would just sew uh, the coaster because this is uh, taking up a lot of moisture and um, but we are going to glue down tissue paper so I don't think it's necessary to just sew it. Maybe to um, Uh, for the text because it's showing through through the tissue paper but I'm also going to paint this so I don't think I need to gesso it so what we do is take out some glue and this is uh, Mod Podge which I keep in a container and I'm making sure the glue goes all the way to the edges and then I take a piece of tissue paper I can wrinkle it And then I'm going to glue it down and while you're pressing the tissue paper you can manipulate it a bit so to get a bit more wrinkles. So I would like a bit more here. little more glue and it's going to be wet and sticky because the glue is uh, coming through the tissue paper because it's so very thin so when you press it down with your fingers you easily can pull it back up again and tear the tissue paper so so um, I'm going to dry this with my hair dryer and then trim the edges and uh, I'll be back in a second So this is all dry and trimmed on the edges and we have a very nice texture. So next thing to do is paint this and I'm going to use a home deco hobby paint Yada Green. And this one is dry now and the texture shows through quite nicely. I'm um, going to use one of my homemade 
acrylic sprays to give it a bit more interest. Uh, the final step should be uh, use uh, an ink, an ink pad, to go over this and uh, leave some uh, marks on these uh, on this texture. But first, I'm going to add a bit more color to this. Uh, coaster so I'm going to try and use this Okay, this was kind of what I was aiming for, but that spray bottle, uh, I'm not impressed with these bottles. I got them very cheap. Maybe that's why. Okay, so the next step is you take... Um, an ink pad, color of your choice, doesn't matter what you like best and then you are going to go over the surface and what it does is that the ink just grabs on all those little folds and wrinkles. You see? And that is very nice. I'm going to leave some links for you in the description box below to a Cat Hands uh, channel because she um, uh, makes these morsels and there's also a Facebook group so if you like to join in please follow the links and you will get there so this is nice very nice okay so the next step is the most difficult for me because uh, for the morsel I am done. This is the technique as Cat Hand uh, showed it to us and um, so this is done really but uh, as I have done with all the morsels I'm going to give it a bit more of interest so now I need to think about what to do with this so I will think about that and be back. So I found some bits and pieces and I'm I think I am going somewhere with these. Um but these need to be gessoed and painted yet. So um I'm going uh to go on with that and uh speed up the video in the meantime.
So I used a crackle medium for these letters and a black gel pen with uh, a water brush and you can see a very fine crackle on these letters so they are ready where's my morsel? here's my morsel so I'm going to glue these down with um, a golden gel medium if I can get it open <laughs> yes So this is curled up a bit, so hopefully this will work. So if this video is not too long, I'm going to uh, upload it in real time. And um, I would like to uh, hear from you uh, which you like best, me doing a voice over or these short videos in real time or maybe a combination that's possible as well. And because of the wrinkles and the bumps, it's a bit difficult to glue stuff down. But with a little bit of attention, it will work probably. So, yesterday, or it was the day before, I believe, I reached a hundred subscribers so I'm so very happy uh, I've been uploading videos since 16th of October which is one month exactly and I have over a hundred subscribers I believe it's 114 at this moment and you all gave me such lovely comments to my videos so thank you very much I'm really happy with that I had this leaf and a flower but I'm not sure if I should we go for the leaf and the flower So this is what's what's left because I didn't like the flower so just going to put up a bit more of this because with taking away the flower I damaged it a 
a little bit. And last but not least, we're going to paint the edges.